Welcome to another tutorial on facade design in Revit. In today's video, I will be sharing some tips and tricks on creating a unique VV facade design in Revit. This tutorial will be quick and easy to follow. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my channel on Patreon. Your support will help me create new videos every week. Now let's get started. So here I have this project file open right now. If you want to follow along with me, you can download it for free from carnades.com. The link will be in the description. First, I'm going to create metal supports here. We are going to create basic metal supports for the VV facade. To do that, I will create a new family. Go to file, new family. I'm going to create a new profile here. Uh, currently, I'm working in Imperial unit, so I will go to this folder. If you're working in metric, you can go to this English folder here. So let's go here and I'm going to select profile family from here. Let's press P on the keyboard and I'm going to select this profile template. Let's open this up. And here I'm going to create a profile. So the thickness of this floor is 15 inches. So I'm going to uh, create the profile with the same size so we have this profile i'm just going to save this we'll just call it 15 inch profile let's hit save now let's load this family into our project and we want to close this window as well so i will click here and our family is now loaded in this project now to use this family we are going to use this lab edge from this drop down let's click on it and then edit duplicate this i'm going to call it 15 inch profile now we need to use the same uh, profile from here which we just created if you want you can uh, assign a material to this as well for now i'm just going to click ok now to use this profile you just need to pick the bottom edge of the floor make sure you have selected the same profile let's click there we go now i'm just going to quickly pick the edges of the remaining floors now i'm going to quickly create uh, the other supports here so for that i'm going to use model in place we are just going to create a basic uh, metal frames here so we can use this generic model just click ok and i will just go to the front view and i will change the visual style to hidden lines so that we can see this clearly Let's go to create, select extrusion. First, we need to set the work plane. So I'm going to uh, select pick a plane and pick this floor here, the face of this floor. Hit tab key a couple of times to highlight the face of the floor. And then we will create a rectangle here, maybe six inch by six inch. Let's make it six inch here also six then i'm going to use pick lines and we'll put half an inch offset 0.5 inch and then let's uh, just click here and hit tab key to highlight this rectangle and click let's click finish and there we go let's select this and to adjust the length of this we can adjust the extrusion end i'm going to make it three feet Okay, let's select this and just drag it to the uh, to the face of this uh, profile here if you want you can go into more details and use the same method and create the joints here i'm just going to leave it as it is and then we can go back to front view and i'm just going to copy this so the first one we want to place it at uh, one foot from here let's delete this dimension 
let's select this and we will add material parameter to this by clicking here associate family parameter and we'll create a new one let's call it metal support hit ok and now we can create an array and just select array from here then we will select this point and make sure last is selected here now let's go here and then we will not put any numbers here just just deselect this by clicking somewhere here and then we will just move it one foot from here Now let's select this and we will put the number C. Let's put it. Perfect. Now we can select all of these and copy them from this point to other levels. Now we can just click finish model to create the wavy shape here. I am going to uh, use in place mass so let's go to massing inside first i will click on this uh, show mass button and then in place mass let's click ok and we'll go to level 3 because we want to uh, create this from uh, level 3 until level 9 so let's go to level 3 then i'm going to select this flying tool from here Just hit escape a couple of times, then select this line and we can use these points to adjust this spline. Let's go to 3D and we can select this line and click here create form. There we go. Let's select this, uh, the, this top of this form and we can use this gizmo and just drag it until level 9 here it should snap this point if it doesn't we can go to front view and just drag this until this frame here perfect now we can just go back to front view again and we can start uh, creating the openings for that also you can either use spline or R tool and again as you can see we cannot draw on this face the reason for that is the work plane is set to the this face of this wall so let's change the work plane click here set work plane and we'll pick the face of this wall here by pressing the tab key and now we can create our profile so make sure a draw and work plane is selected here and let's start creating the openings here Now once we have uh, created these profiles on this level we can simply select them one by one and create void forms so let's select this one and click this drop down and select void form now we can just drag this through this solid form which we created earlier let's select this one and just create void form And I will just quickly do this with all the other profiles. Now, instead of creating new profiles on each of these levels, I'm just going to copy these voids. First, let's select this profile by pressing the tab key and then we can just copy this to the other levels where we want to place it 
just make sure that these profiles are not overlapping this metal supports that we created So I have copied all these voids on the other levels. If you notice, some of these have different colors, which means that they already have cut the solid form. So as for the remaining voids, which haven't cut this uh, solid form, we can use the cut geometry tool. Select cut geometry from here. Make sure multiple cut is checked. First, let's select the solid form, and then we'll start selecting these voids one by one to create the cuts or the openings let's go to front view so we can easily select these whites if you want to rearrange this we, we can easily do that Let's tap select this void and I will just move it here. Okay, I forgot to cut this one. Perfect. Now we can hit finish mass. Okay, I forgot to select some of these voids, so I will quickly do that. First, select cut from here and pick this solid form. And let's just hover over these whites to highlight the remaining ones. There we go. Now, let's click finish mass. And we got our wavy facade design here. But if you notice, still it's just a mass form. To convert this into a solid geometry, we need to use wall. So let's quickly do that. Go to architecture and select wall from here. Let's select a generic one and then duplicate. Let's call it generic two inches. And we should put the same thickness here, two inches. And now we can click here, pick faces and just pick this mass. There we go. We have created this cool looking wavy facade design here. Now I will quickly turn off mass. If you see the mass and this wall is overlapping, so we should hide mass. Just go to massing inside and click here to turn off mass. Currently it's working, but if it doesn't, you can press VG on the keyboard to open up this visibility graphic settings here just press m and turn off from here as you can see currently it's turned off that's why it's not visible uh, in in this view so we can turn off mass from here as well anyway let's see if you notice these supports some of the supports are not touching this wavy shape here so let's select this and click edit in place and i'm going to select all of these and first we'll ungroup them and i'm just going to change the extrusion end of this to seven feet so all of them should be outside of this wavy facade now we can go to the top view here and again here also we'll create a void so let's go to create select void extrusion and we can use pick uh, pick lines and let's pick this line here okay i think there is some issues with the work plane let's click set and i'm going to select level one from here let's click ok and then we can use pick lines and let's pick this edge and then i'm going to just create uh, just close this profile like this now let's hit finish and I'm going to drag this through 
uh, through these supports and then we can use cut geometry again make sure multiple cut is checked this time we will select void first and start picking these supports okay i accidentally selected the other one so let's hit skip and select cut geometry again and if i hover over here and right now you can see the void is not visible but if i hover over here and hit tab key the void will be highlighted so let's click and then start picking these supports again now we can just click finish model and i think we should update the mass here so let's go back to massing insight first click show mass button and then i'm going to select this mass and okay just hit tab key and then click edit in place and i'm going to select this line and we'll just drag this until here now let's click finish mask and to update this wall we need to tap select this wall and click here update to face here we go let's go back to massing inside and turn off mass and we have created this cool looking wavy facade design in revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and if you found this video helpful please consider supporting my work on patreon your support will help me create new videos every week and yeah i will see you guys in the next video